this is Nicholas from Trade Star Longonot Farm. And after marking or selecting our site for growing strawberries, today we are going to mark our area with Kevin. We have put in the first peg to put our nylon corn. He's hammering with a hammer. Then we tie our nylon corn on the first peg. After we tie, we pull, we use our tape measure to pull and measure our five meters long. That is the area we have designed it to take or to start with. After the five meters long, we are going to take the second peg where Kevin is. Then we are right there at the mark of five meters. Kevin is going to armor as I am taking out the tape measure. This is our second peg, which is five meters long from our first peg. Then we pull our nylon cone towards the second peg where we have measured as five meters. Then we tie on the second peg our nylon cone. Then from there we are going to measure with our tape measure three meters width to put our third peg that is three meters. We put at the mark of three meters our third peg. Kevin is still hammering the hammer, uh, hammering the third peg as I help carrying the other pegs and pulling the nylon cone as well as auditative measure. After hammering the third tape, the third peg, sorry, we are going to tie a nylon cone on the third peg. This is going to give us the area. Then from there, we measure five meters long towards the first peg, and we try to make straight so that we have we don't have much problem in adjusting the diagonals. So we try to make a straight line just with our highs, but we are going to confirm our diagonals without measure. So we find it is there. Kevin is hammering the fourth peg. And I will come pulling the nylon cone to the fourth peg to make a rectangular perimeter area that we have selected to start flattening. So that we may start growing our straw berries in that region. So an nylon cone to reach on the fourth peg, we tie and pull it to the first peg so that we make a complete perimeter, perimeter area which is five meters by three meters. Then after making that, we are going to confirm our diagonals. We are going to start from the third peg and second peg. That is confirming the diagonals. And that one is 530 centimeters or 5.3 centimeters. We confirm with the first peg and second peg. And this one is 5.6 meters, so it is, they are not equal. The 5.3 meters is inside. So if we want to adjust, we can decide to unplug the first peg or, or we unpack the fourth or rather the second. The decision is yours which peg you want to move it inside so that the diagonals are equal.
and in, th in this case we are going to use the land and the second peg we are just those ones to make sure they are equal to the first and third so we pull confirming again if the dimensions are equal and we find they are not equal so we are supposed to move one peg inside to a point of 5.3 that is the first peg with the third peg such that they are equal to the third to the fourth peg sorry and the second peg so after that Kevin is going to armor the peg and then we try to tighten our nylon cord again such that the, oh, such that the nylon cord is tight such that we are going to see all the vegetation which are along the nylon cord for its clearing. So after we are done with our pegs, we are going to identify the lamp shrubs or the vegetation we remove with our hoe by digging the area that is a lunch of shrubs and the second shrubs along our string or the nylon cone we remove it after we are removing now we want to remove the vegetation that is in grass and we start from actually the high elevation where the first peg is removing two ones the lower elevation so that the no vegetations around the whole area so that we're going to start now flattening the area and before that we're going to measure with the laser machine thank you for watching and wait for the next step